In the previous lecture, we have seen how to write test cases in Django. Now, in this lecture, we'll see how to write test cases of our function based views. Hi, welcome. Last we did model testing using Django's test case unit test, and now we'll see uh, how to test our views list view, create view, delete view, update view, and so on. So, uh, for that, uh, we can make this file rename just like uh, tests model models.py enter and now we can create one more file for views but before that uh, let's create a new folder just uh, name it tests and uh, <clears throat> just uh, visit file and uh, just go to the book and just paste it file taste model into this okay fine okay just close this we don't want to save this okay fine so this is the model test case book model test case okay fine and now let's create save this file taste underscore view dot py okay fine so let's just copy the whole content and paste it over here okay and we need to test our views so let's just rename it and view test case okay fine and after that we don't need this setup in the list view uh, excuse me in the view testing okay we don't need this as well and just uh, test underscore detail underscore book you can name it whatever you want and self okay and through detail uh, let's just create a one finest okay let's just create a one object just like we did in the model testing just like this object and uh, self dot create underscore book and name this uh, book whatever you want you can name it whatever you want book title okay another book title fine and after that we need to define a URL so detail URL is equal to uh, for that I want to show you something response is equal to uh, you can say that to test it to test the views uh, there is some specific syntax client dot get client dot get the URL so this is the URL which is uh, we are going to test it and uh, to go through this URL uh, let's just check it out the detail views URL which is over here uh, okay yeah over here okay so for that we need to use we will use this name which is the unique for the URL so that it can easily identify the book detail view and so that uh, this is under the app book so pass it in the book so for that as we call the reverse in the class based views recently so we need to call the reverse here as well because it will redirect us to the book detail view which is listed over here okay reverse and we need to reverse it book and let's just copy from the urls okay book detail fine okay and after that we need to pass the keyword arguments keyword arguments for the regex for this regex we need to pass the keyword arguments in our detail view okay so we pass id we pass id and uh, we pass the obj dot id okay fine this obj is this okay fine so after this we need to check the response so self dot assert 
true we need to check the response so response dot status underscore code comma it should be 200 so the status code of this url of this response should be 200 that means everything is fine okay so to use this reverse we need to inherit it we need to just initialize it so from django dot uh, contrib let's just bring it from the dashboard like views yes okay core find this close it and okay fine reverse okay let's just check it and uh, just go to the terminal and uh, just instead of run server we need tests it's not test but test okay ran successfully fine uh, actually we haven't uh, initialize any init method so every folder has should be should has the init method so new file just save it init score underscore py okay fine it is empty doesn't matter okay fine so just test okay great fine we ran successfully okay we can check it once with book okay great we ran it successfully as uh, models okay fine great so uh, if we put 404 over here it should give us an error we have seen how to write test cases of our function based views in next lecture we'll see how to write test cases of user model